Okay, so today we're going to be going over what I think is the best way to beat this here Greninja. Now, Greninja immediately is going to set up a T-Spike and is going to immediately go for double team. So, in my opinion, you're going to want a Steel type that can also uh, hit without checking accuracy. So, I figured, why not King Gambit? This particular King Gambit is max attack, max spadef, just to be able to take those hydro pumps better. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have two Swords Dances up. Now, this time I actually have kind of helpful allies, so he gets paired pretty immediately, and that's kind of nice. Usually, you can't really expect, usually it's just you, you know, you can't really expect these guys to be doing much on your behalf, you know. So, you're going to hit him with two cleavers, you have the shell bell, so you're restoring HP each time. Every time you hit him, you should restore enough HP to live the next hydro pump, which is nice. Now, once they've, once he's restored or uh, unlimited your abilities, now you go for the steel beam, which means you've now hit him three times and you can't so you can terastalize they get their shield and you now faint so when you come back in your supreme overlord activates i believe this particular time only four allies had died had died but usually it's all five ones because they're usually pretty weak so you have 50 percent boost to your attack you set up three swords dances you're already able to uh terastalize so you're at plus six, you have a 50% boost, you have the Shell Bell, you're Adamant Nature, and then you Terastalize into a Dark type, which you already were. I actually had to heal up there, because usually you can uh, usually you can dodge a pump or two, but sometimes you just, you know, he just takes you down. So, you're able to go for the Terra Dark. You now have, quite possibly, the strongest, most accurate move to hit this guy with. And actually, I did some research. When you're not Terra'd, uh, and the shield is up, you're only doing 20%. When you're Terrid, but the move is a different type, you're doing 35%. And when you're Terrid and you use a move that is the same type, you're doing 75%. That's what that shield means. So we're doing 75% damage at plus 6 with the 50% boost from the Supreme Overlord. We're doing a lot of damage. Even just that little chunk going down still takes me back to half health on my HP bar, which is nice. So hit him with the cleave a couple more times. And uh, you can see it does a, it does a pretty hefty large chunk. Now, seven star raids have thirty times their own n uh, normal HP, so it does take a little while. Even a semi frail Pokemon like Greninja, it does take a few hits. You can slow bro it if you want, dude. You can stored power and do that whole thing. But what happens if you miss, though? You know what happens if you miss? I've seen people use Toxicroak. Uh, I wanted to kind of try Belly Drum Greedent as well and just tear it into like a Ground type or a Psychic type or something, but. I think this works. Uh, I haven't failed doing this yet by myself. I think it's the easiest way to solo it, and I think that's the way to do it. So like, subscribe, do all that bullshit, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye forever.